Let's get on out of here. This just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. You're still alive. I know it. Case updated. Identify the caller. I need to find a woman who tried to contact the victim. She might still be in the building. Her compass ID was HM. got stuck. Anything in here? Oh. Hello. First name Damien Zorowski. Oh, I took it. There's birds in here. For some reason. Hey, you there. Come here, quick. Hello. What is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? Uh... I don't know. Too early to tell. I'm looking into it right now. Looking into it? Are you out of your mind? We might all be infected. You don't know that. Best thing we can do is stay calm and... And let them come and slaughter us? I won't let them take me. I won't. Okay. Guess we're not saying time to them. Guess we're stuck in here with them. For now. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. I, I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. No external connection. Not much we can do. Shit. Sounds hmm. serious. So, uh, you wanted to ask me something? Uh, tenant in 07. If it'll let me select it. Do you know who lives in apartment 7? 7? I didn't even know anyone lived there. Uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're gonna fix the connection. Not that it's like super important to me or anything. I just need to know. Uh, one sounds fine. I'm not sure if anyone even knows we've been locked in. It might take a while. Oh, God. I mean, sure, that's fine. It's just, you know, the apartment feels very small all of a sudden. Kind of claustrophobic. Is it hot in here? I'm sweating something awful. You fine? Just her? take a deep breath. It's gonna be fine. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I'm just gonna sit here and wait for them to fix it. Can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. Okay. Uh. Previous lockdowns, You've I guess? You've been living here long? Oh, well, I, uh, uh... It must have been at least seven or eight years. Ever had the lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. <laughs> uh, what can you tell me? Well, what do you want to talk about? Um, uh, yeah, you know. Uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Uh, not really. Sounds like you are. Hmm. Of course, I don't know who won since my projector went out. <sighs> Why are my hands shaking? Do I have to say that? Okay. Sorry, I don't have time for this. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. It's no problem. I'll just sit here, alone. God, I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> 
Hang in there. Okay. Guess we're just gonna knock on doors until we can be let out of here, or that's open now. What? What do you want? Got a minute, sir. That's KPD. Weird. It's just oh this God, teeth. They're here. The cleaners are here. <laughs> KPD, I need to talk to you. You broke it. No, you broke it. No. Huh. Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? Uh, tenant Do you from know seven. the tenant in apartment seven? Dad, Tommy's picking on me. Shut up, snitch. <laughs> I thought I told you to shut up. <laughs> seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Okay. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? Uh-uh. One. My son might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. Uh -huh. We lost touch. It's been a while. Huh. Oh, never mind. Sign of the times, I guess. See, I'm a family man myself. You shut up! No, you shut up! No, <laughs> you! I swear, if you don't shut up this instant... Uh, yeah, I can tell. Okay. So, can you describe him, or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium build. He wasn't very... memorable. Uh, number two Have sounds you good. seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch <laughs> of losers. A lot of. You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Oh my god. <laughs> You're way dumb. These kids. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. Hmm. I'm guessing B-class is pretty high. No one lives there. Can I open it? Nobody. Don't know what that is. It's 12, though. Let's touch it. Nobody. This place is so small. Hack. Connection established. Zero. Four, four, six. Oh, cool. Right in. Nobody. Nobody. Can't open. I think with these. Is there a reason? Hmm. Okay. Open sesame. Nothing. Tension parent. Your child can't touch a hologram. The latest series of educational connect kinetic toys will help improve their imagina imagination and central nervous system. Nothing. Nothing. Just 
going to keep touching him. Come to the door, please. Just want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Oh, yeah. Seriously? People. We haven't had a cop around these parts in... Never, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Uh... Seventeen. Well, the car went that way. Hmm. Janet left the door open. Let's close that up. What we got in here? Can we open any of this? No? Anything to hack in here? There's this thing. Personal computer. You got some of that stuff in here too. Synchrosine. Synchrosine. Refill. Oops. Let me close that up. So if we run out of synchrosine, does something happen? The wall stands tall. Our brave boys and girls continue to defend us from the eastern hordes. A shot rings in the dark. Michael, the young soldier next to me, immediately turns toward the wall. The intensity of his gaze sends chills down my spine. Without a second thought, he runs up to the wall. An imp imposing colossus of concrete and steel, he mounts it in a single leap using the state-of-the-art leg augmentations. A little gift bestowed upon our troops by the Chiron R&D Department. The scout aims his rifle into the inky blackness. His cybernetic eyes scour the horizon for any signs of the enemy. Stern and resolute, his comrades hold their breath, waiting for him to say the word. What will it be this time, a soul scavenger or a full-on assault? From one of the numerous raiding parties, that will scour the Sinhali land. When he finally speaks, I cannot help but shudder from the sheer intensity of what is transpiring. All quiet, all quiet, on the eastern front, at least for now. Guarding the wall can be a daunting task, Michael confesses, the following morning, but it's also a privilege. The so other soldiers gathered in the cantina nod their heads in approval. Michael introduces me to a squad member, some of which are their second or third tour of duty. Several firm handshakes later, later the soldiers reg regale me with stories of their service, each one more breathtaking from the last. When I ask what drives them to such acts of heroism, Michael lowers his head in response in a slightly embarrassed tone of voice. I don't think anyone here considers themselves a hero. I know I don't. The way we look at it, we're all part of something much greater than ourselves. Something that began with our fathers fighting in the big one. Ah yes, the big one. Such an unassuming name for greatest conflict of our times. One we all know as the Great Decimation. A name given not only to belittle, but to simplify. A desperate attempt to make sense of the unprecedented tragedy during which many of our nation's finest gave all their was to give in defense of our way of life, nay, our very existence, from bar barbaric hordes of the East, and yet, out of this cauldron of conflict, this baptism of fire, we have emerged victorious. And while the old world was engulfed in flame, in its ashes we have built our great republic. To all the heroes that gave their lives and health in the great decimation, we salute you. While a soldier's dedication is undeniable, their service is made much more bearable due to contributions from the Board of Defense and Chiron's top scientists. Michael is quick to agree, if it wasn't for the corporate government, some of us would not have made it this long. Take these babies, for example, he says, while affectionately patting his glistening leg prosthetics. Without them, I would be a cripple, wasting away in some hospice. Unable to serve my fellow citizens. Thanks to Chiron, I can fulfill my role in our greatest society. Our great society. Spoken like a true patriot. 
and let us not forget that Shiron takes care of our brave men and women on and off the field of battle. Our ongoing veteran re rehabilitation initiative in ensures that soldiers who are no longer able to serve can re reintegrate into society so they can lead rich and fulfilling lives once their glory days are behind them. Ground floor. Oh, this is everyone on. Of course. Oh. Two agents. Helena Novak, apartment 104, and Helena Nader, apartment 106. Both on the same floor. 104 and 106, okay. Oh, he's got video games. Oh. We don't need to do that, though. Get out! You again? Get out! Not a good idea to sneak up on me, you know. Need to get out. Yeah, I must have taken a wrong turn. These hallways all look the same. Hallway, public office, authorized personnel only. Police business. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Thanks for giving I me a goddamn heart attack. During the war, <sighs> took one alive. Sent for one. Now few. you. <laughs> to get into his head. Uh... You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. Burrowed through our armor. Burrowed huh. through armor. Sorry, huh. I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. Lockdown. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. Oh, thank you. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. <laughs> All the big ones. <laughs> Bad. Uh. The implants. Okay. Uh, Rudy. I take it Rudy is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone. Don't lose it. What? Mm. Wonders of. Sometimes. Oh. Mm, need to. Track. Manually. Okay. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. My vision goes all glitchy. Yeah, when I move we the all know sometimes. how that last one used to work. I'm not sure if that's just motion blur. Or... What could you tell me about uh, the tenant in apartment seven? Uh, uh, tenant. Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah, maybe longer. Not good with time. You That's ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. That's weird. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. I need to get All going. Right. I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? It's uh -huh. a cool fact, though. I'm not gonna lie. But that is intentional. I looked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. Not bad. Uh, huh. Bad. Yeah. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Huh? Name? Janus. Hmm. Like a Roman god. <laughs> you know. So 
Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janus. Hmm. It's got that same book. Okay, let's get on. Is there a reason why vision's going like that? Yes. Let's take one. Single scene injected. Strain level decreased. Oh, it's got synthetic respiratory tract. Huh. What else can I scan from him? Human life form. Oh, blood type. That's pretty cool. There you go. I'm going to close that behind you. So 104 and 106. Is there a specific person we're going to? 106, okay. We're just looking for both of them. Okay. Well, we can get outside. Oh, we're back at the front. Cool. So, it's, so we need to go next floor then. Access granted. Cool. How do we get upstairs? Actually, wait a minute. Wasn't there something on the left? Right over here. Door unlocked. Pirates. Spiders. Fuck. Remove your implant. Human body. Yeah, that's a no. Personal computer. I don't like all the whispering. Voices from below don't believe their lies. The plague is still out there. Oops. Make sure there's nothing behind me. In here. Programs. No. Just looking at everything. Undelivered notification. The following message could not be delivered to one or more receipts. Original message, my dear Annie, by the time you read this I will no longer be among the living. The details are not important, just know that I went on my own terms. I don't want to ask for a proper burial. God knows you don't owe me anything, and by the time the cleaners are done with the place, I doubt there will be anything left, left of me to bury. Just know that for all my faults, I have always loved you. Just like I loved your mother, when the disease took her, a part of me died that day. Simple displays of affection became a foreign concept, a painful reminder of what I had lost. It does not justify what I put you through, but it's the truth. I am so happy you managed to get out of this hellhole and find someone worthy of your love. I wish you both all the best. Love, Dad. Stress us enough, cleaners are my friends. Wait, best case scenario, they'll lock down the entire building, go through it with a fine tooth comb, using the outbreak as an excuse for confisc confiscate subversive materials and detain any undesirables. Worst case scenario, the ones that they don't slaughter outright will end up as guinea pigs for sheer on R and D. If it comes to that, do yourself a favor and pack it in. Jump out a window, blow your brains out. Doesn't matter, you just make it last. You want to thank me later. 
You won't thank me later. But you'll regret it otherwise. No life functions detected. Why does it say to remove my implant? It's weird. I don't even know why this door is even open. Just close that back up. Let me kind of see inside that room. Just hear people whispering. <laughs> 106. So how do I get upstairs? Oh. Thought it would tell me. Guess not. Oh, here we go. Here's we go. Floor one. God damn it, my shadow scared me. I got a robot hand. Oh yeah, duh. I almost forgot that we were a cyborg of some sort. Oh, huh. there's the robot. Service drone. Arado. Impeccable sound recording quality, even under the harshest conditions. Okay. Oh, I gotta hold it. Okay. Nothing. 10. Dan Lazarski, KPD. Routine questioning. Daddy, who is it? Can he make the door open? When can we go out, Daddy? Shh. Go to your room, kids. Go play Runaway Galaxy. Let me talk to the man. <laughs> Hello, officer. I'm Thaddeus Karski, head of the family. How can I help you? You sound weird. Uh. Just ask him for Listen, suspicious have you activity. Seen anything questionable going on around here? Apart from the usual, you mean? The usual? Well, you know, this place isn't exactly a beacon of morality. Still, okay. we mustn't judge. Most people mean well. They're just misguided. Misguided? What do you mean by that? Everything all right in there? Did the lockdown spook the kids? Oh, no, we're fine. I do appreciate your concern, though. You sound very calm. You're not worried about a potential outbreak? Oh, that doesn't concern us, officer. Of course, I hope that's not the case, for the sake of the other tenants. What do you mean, it doesn't concern you? We're all clean of corruption. My wife, myself, and the little ones. What? Clean? Oh. You're Immaculates. Children of the Immaculate Birth, yes. You've heard of us. All good things, I immaculate. hope. Uh, sure. Well, I've never been called to a crime scene where one of your kind was involved. That's good enough for me. <laughs> our kind? I see. Do you take offense to our way of life, Officer Lazarski? No, but it must be hard on the whole family. No one said what? life would be easy. What is what is an immaculate? Well, I'd have to say, no mods of any kind. That's quite a statement these days. Is it really? Is having oh. a neural connection to the web worth renouncing your humanity? Is a body held together with screws and wires really worth a corrupted soul? Some would say oh, there are. Okay, aren't. I understand it. So he's completely human. Certainly. I know our lives will be shorter and less comfortable. But it's a price we're willing to pay for 
experiencing the purity of our God-given bodies. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm not a big fan of implants, but I couldn't do what I do without them. Yes, you carry them within you. It wasn't really a choice, you know? Oh, but clearly it was. The hmm. world would be a better place if more people realized that. Uh, I guess. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe we are what we make ourselves. I don't wish to speak out of turn, but our church has a support group for the penitent unclean. Perhaps you'd like to attend a meeting? Sounds like a hoot and a half. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, huh. well, once you get past the name, you'll find a lot of compassion and understanding there. All right, if you say so, Mr. Karski. Godspeed, Officer Lazarski. Okay. Weird, but okay. Hey guys and girls, I just want to say thank you for watching the video. If you liked everything today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe and hit the bell notification. Thank you all for watching and peace out. See you all next time.